round for the awards for this ensemble. The Orchestra Citizen Award and the Philharmonia Ensemble goes to Jennifer Jenke. The Orchestra Spirit Award goes to Olivia Heilman. And we have a tie for our Hardest Worker Awards, and that goes to Della Casas and Chloe Buckles. After students' ninth grade year, they can letter in orchestra. You can letter three times and also get a gold bar and gold star. Um, so we have some students here in Philharmonia who have lettered. I'll have you stand when I call your name. You'll get an official certificate later, um, but we'll hold our applause till the very end. So Chloe Buckles, first letter. Maddie Walters, first letter. Nate Angus, second letter. Kara Lyon, first letter. Zach Disher, first letter. Josh Coolander, first letter. Taylor Roberge, first letter, and Emma Curtis, first letter. And the last piece that Philharmonia will play for you is themes from all four movements of Dvorak's New World Symphony.
We'll be featuring two of our seniors with our chamber orchestra. Uh, the first soloist tonight will be Grace Wajaya. Grace is uh, from the studio of Mrs. Suzanne Larson, and she's playing her own arrangement of the volume, Vaughn Williams Suite for Viola and Small Orchestra. So originally it wasn't written for string orchestra. I said, Grace, I don't know if we can do it. And she said, well, I'll just write it for strings. And that's Grace Wajaya for you. So everyone, here's Grace. piece, um, I'd like to recognize our Mustang Quartet. This was a new group that we piloted this year, uh, and they've performed at several different events throughout the area, including my wedding. Uh, and so, can the Mustang Quartet please stand? You've heard them in the lobby, and they just sound fantastic.
Our next soloist this evening will be Sherry Yan. Sherry is from the studio of Mary Weiser, and she'll be playing the beautiful second movement of Haydn's Concerto in G Major. Please welcome Sherry to the stage.
all Sinfonia starts coming back on and we, uh, we get set up for them, we're going to go ahead and draw our 50-50 raffle tickets. So go ahead and get your tickets ready and Carrie, if we could have a little bit of light. And thank you to Christy and Maddie Luger for selling us tickets this morning. Yeah. Okay, here they go. Three, seven, four, five, six, six. One more time. Three, seven, four, five, six, six. Woo! Come on down. We've got paperwork for you. Hey, I sold those ones. I sold those tickets.
remember at the last concert I told you, oh, you can sing. <laughs> If you remember at the last concert, I told you I like fast music, and that is very, very fast. <laughs> uh, we are also going to feature two senior solos uh, on our symphony portion of the program. The first one we have is Lindsay Noyes playing the first movement of the Brook Violin Concerto. Lindsay's from the studio of Dr. Dina Nalia. You may have noticed Lindsay hopping around all the different orchestras. She played viola in concert, cello in philharmonia, and now violin with our symphony orchestra. Uh, so can we please welcome Lindsay to the stage.
The next piece we're going to play is Elgar Nimrod from his Enigma Variations. Elgar is most known for writing Pomp and Circumstance, which many of you attending graduation will hear next week. Uh, but his piece Enigma Variations is split into 14 different parts, uh, each dedicated to one of his dearest friends. The ninth variation is called Nimrod, and it portrays a story representing the years of advice and encouragement given to Elgar by his dear friend. I would like to dedicate this to our seniors for all the advice, words of encouragement, and things they have taught me over the last three years being their teacher. So thank you, seniors, and here is Nimrod. Uh, will be Salah Dandan. 
playing the introduction to Rondo and Capriccioso. Salah is from the studio of Dr. Sonia Bosca Harrison. Please welcome right back to the stage, Salah. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Can we just give all of our senior solos one more round of applause, please? awarding to do. We're going to try to get through this as fast as I can, but I want to recognize all the hard work that these students have done this year. First of all, our Orchestra Citizen Award for Sinfonia goes to Emma Nelson. We had a freeway tie for our Orchestra Spirit, Salah Dandan, Joy Lee Kamau, and Caitlin Bitsigat. We had a tie for Hardest Workers, and that goes to Lindsay Noyes and Grace Wajaya. At our last concert, we had just wrapped up our local regional level of solo and ensemble contest. In March, we went to the, the EDC uh, and competed against Fargo, Devil's Lake, and Grand Forks. Um, so again, you guys will get certificates, but just for the sake of time, I'll have you stand now and I'll hold our applause until the end. So the following students, please stand when I call your name. These students received an EDC Regional Star. Avery Benson, Tiana Gu, Maddie Lugert, Ethan Ron, Henry Christensen, Ella Erickstead, Lindsay Noyes, Emma Nelson, Trent Roberts, Sherry Ann, Winston Davison, Salah Dandan, Lindsay Noyes again for a different event, Grace Wajaya, and Tyler Hansen. exact thing, I'll have you hold your applause. Uh, the following students then earned a state star or a double star at the same contest. Grace Wajaya, Sherry Yan, Tyler Hansen, Grant Henney, Salah Dandan, Salah Dandan again, different event, Sherry Yan again, different event, Trent Roberts, Brody Black, Bailey Sommer, Grace Wajaya again, different event, Maddie Lugert, Tyler Hansen again, different event, Ethan Ron, Salah Dandan again, different event. <laughs> Ella Eriks did Emma Nelson, Grant Henney, again, different event, Grace Wajaya, again, different event, Sherry Yan, again, different event, Claire Grudem, Tyler Hansen, again, different event, and Grace Wajaya, again, different event. <laughs> Uh, we'll go on to lettering now for Symphonia. Again, hold your applause. You will get letters and all of your, your lettering and bars and stars next week. Maddie Lugert, first letter, gold bar, gold star. Caitlin Bitsigai, third letter, gold bar, gold star. Claire Grudem, third letter, gold bar, gold star. Lindsay Noyes, second letter, gold bar, gold star. Grant Henney, first letter. Grace Wajaya, third letter. Emma Nelson, first letter, gold bar, gold star. Salah Dandan, second letter, gold star. Jorley Kamau, first letter. Katrina Ustenko, second letter. Ella Erickstead, second letter. Winston Davison, first letter, gold bar, gold star. Katie Kiefer, first letter. Sam Brazerol, first letter. Ethan Ron, first letter, gold star. Jaden Novak, second letter. Lexi Savajo, second letter. Brody Black, first letter, gold bar, gold star. And Avery Benson, first letter, gold bar, gold star. I feel like an auctioneer, I'm talking so fast. <laughs> so beyond our ensemble awards, Symphonia also is eligible to receive a few other awards, um, one of those being the Director's Award. So the Director's Award was established in 2021 to honor a senior member of Symphonia who has made a significant contribution to the orchestra program and the director. This person's name will be put up on a plaque in the music wing. The student has worked extremely hard on being a well-rounded musician, the student regularly is helping others, asking questions, and practicing their instrument, even when it means staying late after school. The student works hard to include others, come up with new ideas, and is very supportive of their peers. 
I will miss this student dearly, but I'm excited to see where their new journey takes them. It's my absolute honor to award the 22 Directors Award to Henry Christensen. <laughs> Mr. Houston, and Mrs. Houston, for choosing me. Um, orchestra has been a great time my four years here. Um, I've made a lot of friends, and I've um, got to play a lot of amazing pieces and really grow as a musician. Um, and it's just been an absolutely amazing time, and I'm excited uh, where my future in orchestra takes me. Thank you. The National School Orchestra Award is one of the highest honors you can bestow upon a senior member of the Sinfonia Orchestra to recognize excellence in playing and contributions to the ensemble. This student embodies the true spirit of the Cheyenne Orchestra family through their playing, dedication, leadership, and effort to create a community where all are welcome. This student's name will also be hung on a plaque in the music wing. This student was voted upon by their peers in the Sinfonia Orchestra. One of the comments that their peers said include, they are so talented both in playing music as well as being able to connect with other members of the orchestra. They truly embody the spirit of the orchestra as they are so motivated to play music and make the orchestra the best it can be. The 22 National School Orchestra Award recipient is Claire Grudem. have the honor of selecting two department-wide music awards, the Quincy Jones Musicianship Award and the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award. These awards started last spring in 2021. The Quincy Jones Award was awarded at our band concert. Um, it focuses on the music production and composition side of things, and this year's recipient was Max Reed. Tonight, I have the honor of awarding the Leonard Bernstein Award. So we music teachers discussed and nominated several students that cross over in the many mediums of music. These multi-talented musicians have contributed towards multiple programs to include choir, band, orchestra, and theater. This person has been involved in all four mediums at one time. This student has been a leader to their peers, a friend for all, a top-notch performer on stage, and will leave big shoes to fill. Please help me in congratulating Ms. Caitlin Bitsiga. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> uh, I went to our Liberty sixth grade orchestra concert this last week. Um, I couldn't make the seventh and eighth grade concerts, but it's just amazing to see, if you remember from our six or 12 movie concert we had, to see them starting with plucking Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to where they're at now, and then to have our concert two nights later. And I'm sure parents, if you remember way back 
They were like that too one day. Um, and so last week, um, we have 17 graduating seniors this year, and I had them for coffee and donuts, and we reflected on their time in orchestra. We talked about their first concert. Many of them also remember playing Twinkle Twinkle in the dark. <laughs> we talked about their first time using the bow and playing at the mall around the holidays. We talked about their first Cheyenne High School concert to now and everything in between. We estimated that they have probably played around 25 to 30 concerts together, and parents who've been at almost probably every single one of them. Uh, can you, but students, your parents again have been at every single one of them and been your number one biggest supporter. So all students, can you please thank your parents, families, and friends? With that, we're gonna honor our seniors now. Um, we're gonna move on to our senior slideshow. Um, so underclassmen in Symphonia, if you could move to the wings. Seniors in Symphonia, stay there, um, and we will get going here. Maybe if you stand it well. <laughs> Gotta love the cheesy Mustang with the graduating hat, right? <laughs> All right, we'll hold our applause to the end. Avery Benson is attending MSUM for elementary education with a minor in either Spanish or psychology. Her favorite piece she played was Irish Legend because of the fun contrast between the slow start and faster jig section. Her favorite memory is when Mr. G's baton flew out of his hand and across the cello section at the holiday concert. She will miss all the amazing friends and family atmosphere that orchestras create. Her words of wisdom is be involved in whatever you can, whether that be an orchestra or anything. You make friends when you're part of something and it's so fun to be involved. Caitlin Bitsigai is attending NDSU for music education. Her favorite piece she played was the St. Paul Suite her sophomore year. A favorite memory of hers is when Mr. G, Lexi, and her participated in the Blazing Wings Challenge during UND Honor Music Festival and made a TikTok out of it. She will miss making music with her best friends and her teachers, Mr. G and Ms. Houston. Words of wisdom, worry less about perfection and more about the meaning behind the music you're playing. Sam Brazerall is headed to University of Nebraska-Lincoln to study business management. His favorite piece he played at Cheyenne was Mambo. His favorite memory was when Mr. G threw his baton at the holiday concert. <laughs> he will miss those concerts the most when he graduates, and his words of wisdom is stick with it, it's worth it. Henry Christensen, Christensen will attend the University of Oklahoma for a degree in music education. His favorite piece was the finale from Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony. His favorite memory was the pancake party. We have another one tomorrow. He will miss all of the people he met in orchestra. His words of wisdom is practice. It is so much more fun when you know what you're doing. Amen. <laughs> Salah Dandan will be attending Concordia College to study biomedical engineering. His favorite piece he played. Do I even want to <laughs> His favorite piece he played at Cheyenne or Mambo in Nimrod. His favorite memory from orchestra was consistently messing up chords in rehearsal so they sounded disgustingly dissonant. Salah will miss seeing his friends every day making beautiful music. His words of wisdom, find something you care about and pursue it. Give people the benefit of the doubt when it possesses no risk to you. Try not to think when you don't need to think. Try to find satisfaction and memories in what you can. And if you're at a loss for words or actions, try to simplify it and realize what your intentions are. Thomas Evans will be pursuing a double major in computer science and electrical engineering. His favorite piece he played was Fiddle Fury, and his favorite memory was the Halloween party we had this year. Thomas will see, miss seeing his friends every day in class. His words of wisdom is play from the heart. Luke Gogler will be entering the workforce to gain experience before attending a community college or EMT school. His favorite piece he played at Cheyenne was Dvorak's New World. One of his favorite, favorite funny memories was during this year's yearbook photos for orchestra. 
Mr. G, had broken his favorite mug the day before and showed up to the pictures holding the handle, and only the handle, <laughs> he will miss playing all of the music, most of all. Words of wisdom, do your homework. <laughs> Claire Grudem will be attending NDSU this fall. Her favorite piece she played was the St. Paul's Suite, her sophomore year. Her favorite memory was the Nashville trip this spring with all of her friends. She will miss the friends and the orchestra family at Cheyenne. Words of wisdom include everyone and just give things a try so you don't wonder what if later. Tiana Gu is attending MSUM where she will play college tennis and major, exercise, major in exercise sciences and minor in sports medicine. Her aspiration is to one day be a physical therapist. Her favorite piece played in orchestra was Irish Legend and when asked for her favorite moment she wrote, every moment was precious. She will deeply miss the people in the community of the orchestra. Words of wisdom, if it doesn't affect you five years from now, don't stress over it right now. That is very good advice. <laughs> Amanda Hesse is attending Alexandria Tech and Community College and majoring in interior design. Her favorite piece she played was all the way back in middle school when they played Dragon Hunter. Her favorite memory was hanging out with her friends in the orchestra room before and during concerts. She will miss having a break throughout her day to de-stress. Words of wisdom, make friends in your class. Maddie McKinnon is headed to NDSU to major in English education. Her favorite piece played at Cheyenne is Ashokan Farewell because it's such a beautiful piece and a wonderful tradition to have. A favorite memory of hers is the holiday concert when the energy was so high during Christmas Eve, Sarajevo, and the baton threw, threw across the stage. She will miss the people the most. She writes, I have met so many wonderful people who have pushed me to do new things and have new experiences and I could not be more grateful. Words of wisdom is go for it, whatever it is. Talk to people, go to events, audition for a solo or anything else. You've got a great support system with this orchestra. Reach for your goals and they will help you fall. Help you, if you, help you up if you fall. <laughs> Never be afraid to try with these people around. Jaden Novak will attend the University of North Dakota for marketing. Her favorite piece to play was Pirates of the Caribbean and her favorite memory was the Nashville trip this spring. She will miss the community of people she has met and being able to rely on having a fun, positive atmosphere to end her day with. Words of wisdom, these four years go by faster than you think. Don't take it for granted. Get involved, talk to new people, and take risks. You only get to be in high school once. Lindsay Noyes will attend Concordia College for a degree in music education. Her top favorite piece was the second movement of Dvorak's American String Quartet. Her favorite memories are the countless times she's laughed with her friends until they were crying. She'll miss all the people in orchestra that she's played with for the last seven years. She also writes, I'll miss, greatly miss Mr. Gonzalez and Miss Houston. They've taught me so much more than just music. Words of wisdom. To the underclassmen, stick with your instrument. I promise you won't regret it. If you want to try something new, go for it. To the upperclassmen, what you have here is special. So don't take any of the short time you have left for granted. Involve the underclassmen and make them feel included. It makes a big difference in their high school experience. Be good leaders and examples. Kenzie Rowley will attend MSUM for psychology with an end goal of obtaining her PhD in clinical psychology. Her favorite piece she played in high school is the Moldau in St. Paul Suite. Her favorite memory was from music camp. When she left her cello case outside in the sun, she reached to grab her rosin and it was all melted. It took two hours and some antifreeze to get it off her hands. <laughs> when asked what she will miss most, she wrote the community. These are people I've played with my whole life. It's going to be hard to let that go. Words of wisdom, let your passion consume, consume you. It might fade away one day. Bailey Sommer is undecided about her plans after high school for now. Her favorite piece she played on the violin was the middle school classic, Tune Rumble. Her favorite memory from class is when Riley Meester named a cricket Lil Homie while doing sectional sophomore year. She will miss all the friends she's made in class. Words of wisdom, don't stress too much about school. Always remember that your health is more important than your grades. Grace Wajaya will be attending the University of Rochester to double major in biochemistry and viola performance. Her favorite piece she played at Cheyenne was Mambo. One of her favorite memories was watching markers fly across the room from the violin section to the cello section, Lindsay and Tyler. <laughs> she will miss the community aspect of the orchestra the most. She writes, you guys are such lovely and warm people and welcoming and funny people. I don't think I'll ever find another group of people quite like this. And typing this out makes me sad, so I'm going to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom, be unapologetically yourself. Do what you love, spend time with your favorite people, take care of yourself and laugh, laugh often. And last but not least, Sherry Yan will attend Stanford University in the fall for computer science. When asked about her favorite piece, she said, Mambo hands down. 
It was the most fun and technically rewarding piece we played. Her favorite memory from orchestra will be all the wonderfully hilarious quotes brought to us unexpectedly in class by Mr. G. One of her favorite quotes is, in chamber you can join in, they're originals, it's a privilege, not a right. She will miss most the community of friends and making music with them. Words of wisdom, you only do high school once. Live in the moment, but have a concrete goal to work towards and stick to it. This is your class of 2022. surprise for Mr. Jean, Miss Houston, um, <laughs> which Henry and Claire and Lindsay are getting right now. While they're doing that, I'm going to say a few words to Mr. Jean, Miss Houston, to thank them for all they've done for us. So, Mr. Jean, Miss Houston, you two have been the most caring and thoughtful teachers any of us could have asked for. I genu genuinely don't know what I would do without you guys. None of us do. You guys have taught us so much, not just about music, but about life, kindness, and love. You've shown us how important music is, especially when you are making it with the people you love. We can't wait to see all of the concerts next year and all the TikToks you make. We all love you so much and we'll miss you more than you know. You have both impacted each and every one of our lives in different ways and for that we thank you. that. Thank you seniors. Come back and visit anytime. Um, and I hope you all keep playing music in some way or form. With that, we are left with our parting gift to the seniors, which if you were here last year, we started our new tradition of playing Ashokan Farewell. Uh, so thank you so much everyone for coming um, and have a wonderful summer. We'll see you in the fall. Um, and there's cookies in the commons. Or sorry, no, the lobby. Last year I had like over a hundred leftover cookies. So please eat cookies this year. <laughs> thank you so much.